Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about MoneyGram and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you send money with MoneyGram? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, this is going to be a really quick video. There's not too many steps involved, so be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you want to send money with MoneyGram? Well, that's pretty easy. Maybe some of your employees live overseas and they prefer that you send them cash for them to pick up at the store. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in the MoneyGram app. It's this red and white one right here. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I'm going to open up my MoneyGram app now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and opened up my MoneyGram app. This is the home screen here. Now here on the home screen, if you want to send money with MoneyGram, you want to choose the person you're going to send it to. So I only have this one contact right here, and all you're going to do is click on this red send money button. If you don't have any contacts in your MoneyGram app yet, you need to click on this red plus dot up here on the top left. Once you do that, you will need to enter in that person's name and add them as a contact before you can send them money. Just make sure that you list their complete name as it appears on their ID. It's even better if you can have them send a picture of their ID, especially if they're from a different country and you're not familiar with how the names are presented. Because if they show up to get this money from MoneyGram and this name does not match what's on their ID, there's a high chance that they are not going to pick up that ID. I mean that money. Also, depending on where you live, oftentimes the middle name is not really something common, especially in the US. However, if it appears on the ID, you do need to use the middle name because again, Again, if their ID has a middle name, but you only send it to, let's say, John Thompson, but it's John Philip Thompson on their ID, they will not be able to pick it up. So let me go ahead and close this out. Okay, so once you've added in a contact, they're going to show up right here. So you're just going to click on their name where it says send money. Okay, now you get to choose how much money you want to send to that person. So you can use your current currency and let's just say $100, and then it's automatically going to convert that for you. Or if you want them to receive the local currency, you can just type in here and then let's say 200000 thousand COP and it'll automatically convert it for dollars here at the top. Okay, so once you do that, it's gonna give you the different options on how you can send money to that person. Just note that the currency exchange rate does fluctuate and MoneyGram does make money on that, so you're gonna get charged a margin. So sometimes they run promotions where there's no fee, as you can see right here. So just choose whichever one is going to give you the best time frame and fee. So if we do a credit card, it's gonna be zero to seven business days. We're gonna do cash pickup. Okay, so they're letting me know it should be available within a few minutes. You can use your credit card, but you can see the fee is much higher. You can also go to a location. I generally use my debit card just because the fee is lower and it's available much quicker. Okay, so as you can see, the COP has decreased just as we were messaging and doing this video. So we'll change this back to 200,000 and it keeps decreasing. So let me go ahead and just do 205,000. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So once you've chosen how much and the form of payment, if you still want to send money with MoneyGram, just scroll down. You can enter in a promo code. Check my video description. I'll try to leave a promo code if I have one and make sure this looks good to you. It looks like it's a $4.99 fee, but they're waiving it for this one. So we'll click on next. Okay, next you do need to enter in your 16 digit debit card number, expiration date, and three digit security code. Also, you need to make sure the address here matches up with what you have on file with your debit card. So I'm going to enter all this information in off screen. Okay, so I have entered in all of the required information and I'm gonna click on this red next button here at the bottom. Okay, next they're letting me know not to send money to strangers because I could be getting scammed. So just be sure to read through these warnings and click on next here at the bottom. Next, here's another alert. It lets me know that I shouldn't be buying anything from a telemarketer through MoneyGram. So read through that and then answer the question here. Okay, and one final confirmation, make sure that this looks good to you. And if you still want to go ahead and send money through MoneyGram, click on this red submit transaction button. Okay, MoneyGram did send me a text message to verify that it is me that's submitting this request. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter that code in here. And next I'm gonna click on verify. Okay, next, this confirmation screen pops up. So you can see the reference number right here. Keep a hold of that because that person will need the reference number in order to pick up the money that you sent through MoneyGram. It also shows how much and who you sent this money to. So let me go ahead and close this down. Okay, so it brings you back here to the home screen. And then if you want to get more information, just look for the transaction right here. It says it's still processing, but this one's already gone through. So let me click on view details. Okay, if you look here, it is ready for pickup now. So that person is gonna need their reference number, which is listed right here, and they're going to need their issued ID, so their passport or their whatever ID that country accepts. Generally, it's going to be the passport. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to send money with MoneyGram, that is the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully, you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel, and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.